Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Gina, and today I'm making pork lo mein in the Instant Pot. So the first thing I'm gonna do is turn on the saute function. And I'm going to add some sesame oil, a couple tablespoons. And I have here a couple of pork steaks that I've removed the bones from. You can thinly slice yours if you like, but I'm generally okay with putting mine in their hole and then just kind of shredding them after I cook them, but it's up to you. So I'm gonna take a couple of tablespoons of soy sauce. Mine is low sodium. And I'm just pouring it on these pork steaks while the oil is heating. Just kind of coating them in that, coating them in that um, soy sauce. And then I'm going to brown them a little bit. I'm going to add a cup of soy sauce, two cups of chicken broth. I like the low sodium um, options. That's kind of up to you. I have a bag of uh, frozen vegetables here. They're, uh, this one is a sugar snap pea stir fry. It's got sugar snap peas, broccoli, green beans, uh, red and yellow peppers, chestnuts, carrots, that kind of thing. That's what I'm going to use, but you can also, you know, use what your choice of vegetables. I just like those because they're easy. I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of minced garlic. This is about four cups of sliced mushrooms. You can use the type you have right now. I had the white ones, so that's what I'm using. You'll need two teaspoons of sugar. Put the lid on, make sure it's in the ceiling position, and set it for 15 minutes. So let this natural release for about 15 minutes. So the pins dropped. I'm going to take the lid off. And I'm going to take the ingredients out and put them in a separate bowl so that I can put my noodles in here. And you'll want to shred up your meat the, to, the, to the way that you want it. I like it in small pieces. You can do that while your noodles are cooking. I may not get all of this out and you won't have to either, but just get the biggest portion of it out 
so you'll have room for your pasta. So I'm using linguine, but you can use spaghetti noodles if that's what you have. You'll want to break them in half, and you'll want to put them in there. I call it cross hatching. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure what the actual name is, but. I'm losing some. <laughs> okay. Push them down in there. Make sure they get soaked a little bit. I don't necessarily want to stir them. You're just trying to push them down in there into the liquid that's hot. Okay. Put the lid on. Make sure it's in the closed position and set it for four minutes. So the timer has gone off again. Okay. Just going to give these a quick stir. And I'm going to add the meat and vegetables back. Hot. Combine those. Now, the way that I cooked the vegetables for this, it does make them rather on the soft side. So if you like your vegetables to be more firm, you might choose to cook your vegetables in with the pasta instead of in with the meat. But that's just a matter of preference. And you can let this rest all together for like five minutes or so. But I think I'm going to go ahead and sample it a little. sample here guys It's really easy too guys so it's good and it's easy that to me is the makings of a perfect meal